What's going on, y'all? Jimmy Mackram, Marcus Cash. Step up episode five of season six of Better Call Saul. Last we saw, uh, Mike met Kim. Uh, and Finally. All I remember was fucking awesome. And um, Gus, convinced that Lalo is still alive, which he's right about, um, is taking extreme measures to make sure he's not gotten to. He's got secret tunnels, he's got body doubles, he's got surveillance, all types of shit. I'm here for it. It's a little bit as a loss because you know he survives. Yeah. Through Better Call Saul. I mean, yeah, through Better Call Saul. But uh, I don't know. I do want to see what happens to Lalo. Yeah, the chase is fun. I really do love these openings, don't they? Yeah. Too much? Yes. Because <laughs> there's never context. That's the point. It's just pretty for pretty sake, and then it comes to context comes later. I get it. But, um... A lot of ones come through your door. You're not stopping to come through your door. Right. I was say, it's like a valiant effort, but... Everything okay? Can't sleep. Figured I'd get a jump on work. <sighs> okay. I mean, just... Jimmy. Lolo kills Kim, right? Shut the fuck up! The nun's back what in the system. fuck is wrong with you? What are you, a cunt? Said. Your continuance to put Kim's death into the universe has become bothersome. I don't think it makes sense. I was, how does that make sense? Unless she runs off How's the only thing that makes sense? How's that the only thing that makes sense? Why do you do that? As fun as it is to watch Gus do all the criminal things, watch him do mundane, mundane things is almost as fun. It might be even a little more so, quite frankly. Because he's so precise about <laughs> everything. That is so funny, Shane. That's like literally over your shoulder. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you're not wearing the hat. May I suggest our signature spice curls? Sure. Give me a large on that. That was easy. Who's who he thinking of? Is it an exact order for somebody else? Gus is a lot for me. And that is relevant to the claims at issue. Now this brings us to another key term, relevance. If a document or a piece of evidence is relevant, that means it has a tendency to Fuck prove or disprove an element you. in this case. Now to get your due, it may take a little extra time. Is it worth it? I think it is. Because this isn't just about money. It's about people. We're not gonna let big corporations pick the pockets of hardworking folks. Mm -hmm. I, I wanna live in a world where people can trust each other. And I bet you do too. Go ahead, Howard. Goddamn right. Oh, you psychopath saying coward deserve this? I would stab you in your sleep if I had the chance. He was mean to Kim. So you ruined his life? What? Kept in the fucking office. What? I think we just put out a major fire. That was impressive. Aaron, I'll see you back at the office. Bye, Howard. Howard. Bye. Here we I go. Here we go. I, I don't even... I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> I'm not asking you to respond. I just need you to know that I know. It wasn't me, Cliff. Whoever you think yeah, you Yeah, sorry, saw. but that's the kind of thing my son used to say. There's the, the baggie at the country club. Yes. After that, some clients who you can't name because of privilege make insinuation. Then on Thursday, you have a business meeting and you witness a Jaguar speeding past. Check out the big brain on Brad. Who are you meeting with? Kim Wexler. She came to me for career advice. All right. Put it together. Cliff, I know this wasn't easy for you. You came to me as a friend. I appreciate it. You can start today, Howard. Oh, I will. Because you're right. I do have a problem. Just not the problem you think. <laughs> I have a Jimmy McGill problem. You're a smart motherfucker, that's right. 
Cancel my week. Yes, my whole week. Let's go! <laughs> I can't wait. I don't think it'll work the way how it wants to, but God damn it, at least you're trying to fight back. I love how quickly he put that together too. You remember Kim? Mmm. I <laughs> have a Jimmy McGill problem, absolutely. Cancel my week. <laughs> Jesus, how much is that gonna cost Howard? A personal day for this. What if I double your salary? My salary at the MBD or what you're paying me before? What if there's less? <laughs> 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 I'm looking for it. Get a say in the decorating. Jesus, she's heavy to go business. One at a time. Thank you. I'll be right out. It's all so good at details and shit. Yeah. It's fun to watch. It, it is. Whatever's less. Uh, all right. All right. I love the toilet in the middle of the room, by the way. You probably had to clean up Mesa Verde, everything that happened there. Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Anyway, I'm sure I'm it's Kevin. a lot. Actually, Mason Brady. How's it going? It's pretty interesting. So far, it's a deep dive into class action. I'm playing her too, uh, We have our first yep. mediation. I really admire you, Kim. Changing direction like that. Sometimes I question all of it, but you make me feel better about the law. Aw. Oh, you poor sap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to give you what you want. What I want, I don't... I think this is what you want. You want to beat the shit out of me? Legally? I think you could hold up your end. You must have gotten into a few good scrapes in the old neighborhood. I want to see this. He cannot help himself. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> He cannot. <laughs> this what? <laughs> Let's go. Come on, Howard. Come on. Howard's gonna clock him. <laughs> what hit KO? Hey, take a shot. Come on, take a swing. Oh! Jesus. A privileged life. <laughs> Shit! Hold on. Here we go. Watch these two old men fight is hilarious. You gonna get some cheating? That was cheating. You just tackled him. God damn. That was awesome. I'm not even sure what the fuck that was. It's so random in the middle of the show. The cause of Bob Oda and Kirk's uh, health scares? Jesus, what the fuck's wrong with you? Anything in particular you want me to look for? No. I need to know everything he does and everyone he talks to. You got it. Okay, then. Go ahead, Howard. Go ahead. This is just part one. Go ahead, sir. Knock him out so I can go talk to this guy in peace. We'll follow behind him as he stammers out. Ready? I just thought of it just now. Because I couldn't think of somebody to replace Kim because Nacho's already dead. Ready? Somehow Lalo kills Howard and Kim, being broken emotionally, decides to leave all this shit behind. I'd say you'd be missing a bet. I'm Saul Goodman. Pow! I fight for you. <laughs> <laughs> Because, you know. I know. You know what's coming next. Jesus. Jesus. That sounded very worse, right? Let's go. Oh man, they're both up to the most diabolical. It's gonna come to a head. I'm definitely watching Breaking Bad again. He moves like a fucking robot. And everything needs to be super analyzed. So you're gonna waste that walk. 
Sarah walk is so ridiculous. Counting the steps? Oh, yeah, maybe. You left a gun under there. And Martini bitte. Vodka or gin? <laughs> Give me whatever you like. You're American. I guess you could spot us a mile away. Yeah. Just for his wife. Thank you. Sound called Hemis. Hemis. I almost visited there once. Oh shit! It is his wife. Mm -hmm. This close. What? Hello, I'm Margarita. Oh, it's very nice to meet you, Margarita. I knew his work was dangerous, but shit. I never imagined such a thing. Wow. Lalo knew who this was, didn't he? Yes, he did. And I think Gus knew what Lalo was thinking, which is why he's down there in that fucking place. Let's speak of something else. Tell me about New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> you would love it. Lalo is gonna fuck Mrs. Werner. That's what you got from this? Yes. Is that the important part of this for you? No. What the fuck is wrong with you? But it's, it's, a, it's a side mission. <laughs> you want to go oh, yes. Oh, oh actually. Quiet. I changed my thought. He kills her to steal the rest of the files. Tomorrow. Well, in another life. In another life, yes. I don't like those choice of words. Oh, little so much you still like Lala after this shit. Kill her small dog. Go ahead. No, you want to. Oh, do it. <laughs> Killing people, that's fine. Yes. Small dogs? Well, too many people. I really hope she stays out. Yeah. In fact, just ends up at another bar this all night. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck me. This is so gratuitous. Come on, gratuitous. Okay? The blab's here. Vision. Blab's here. Grab your phone. I hope it's not upstairs. Shit. That's what we saw being built? Yep. Oh, to be fair, I need a whole fucking, uh... Big ass intro for that? Yes. No way a lot will fit through there. Are you kidding me? Absolutely. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Jesus. What the, what the, why wouldn't Lowell fit through that? Only problem would be like maneuvering up there. And we've seen he's an elite athlete. Like, outrageously so. Remember that jump he made from like the thing to that car down at the bottom? Oh, the fact that uh, at the, at the, what was the cell phone store or whatever? Where they had the, <laughs> yes, he, he climbed through the roof. <laughs> and leaped down. All right, that was episode five? Yes, of season six. A better call Saul. I almost had a heart attack in the last few minutes, but um, it all worked out mostly. I do love how in this episode, um, our, I don't want to call them antagonists. We'll call them targets for the moment. Our targets, Howard on one end and Lalo on the other end, have uh, begun, to, we've got to see them put in some work here. Howard knows what Jimmy's up to. And, um, He's doing his best to counteract what the fuck Jimmy's got going on. And Lalo, we finally see his plan, which is, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what his plan is. We know it involves the tunnel, uh, because that's what Werner was working on. He now has that, uh, was that a level? What was that? Anyway, uh, that, which yeah. I guess could lead him to where it was built, or could lead him to uh, some of his guys, all who know what um, Gus is up to. I don't know. I am thoroughly confused and concerned. Uh, yeah, not a lot happened overall, but I agree. Stay for most Better Call Saul episodes. <laughs> Howard, three. Lalo. Oh, you like my late morning breaking bed, whatever. But yes. Uh, watching nothing because it's a pretty nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I like character building too. 
Uh, but Lalo, uh, Gus, just like going through it. I think he knows though. And just obsessing and just he can't stand still. But he knows though. He went into the tunnel, right? And he put a gun underneath the thing over there. I don't know if he knows exactly what Lalo's plan is, but he has to have an idea of what it is, right? I guess so. Go ahead, Gus. Gus is always on his shit. I'm here for Gus. Um, he's something he can't sleep. He wants to use a toothbrush and scrub the tiles in a bathtub like Jesus. Try to get it clean somehow. Like maniac. My man. Um, yeah, no, it's a, it was a lot of uh, it was a lot of character building, but I just loved we're finally piecing Breaking Bad into this. Okay. I do like that. The, the basement thing, the right. tunnel, Werner. Uh, Francesca, Francesca. who's uh, Saul's uh, secretary in uh, Breaking Bad. Um, that we've seen before, but now she's fully part of the game. You're, you're my secretary. Yeah. And you're a hustler just like me, apparently. What the fuck? I get the direct decorative place. I get a signing bonus. I get twice my salary, or whichever is more. Ugh, more. Jesus. More. Um, yeah, I'm still going to pick about uh, Lalo and Howard. I don't know how that would come together. I just feel like Howard's the only big name star we could kill that's not Kim. So, that's why I'm picking it. Sorry. Uh, like Howard, uh, more than Cash and everybody else apparently, who just was like, fuck it. Let them ruin his life because he was mean to Kim for a second. Yeah. <laughs> what? Um, Extension of Chuck. So, destroy the man's fucking life because he looked out for his friend? I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> um... MVP? Uh, for, for me, it's easy to just go LVP first. Okay. Uh, uh, Saul? Why? Um, for starters, he still doesn't know Lalo's alive. <laughs> for immediate starters. To be fair, would it help him knowing? Are you going to go kill him? Uh, Howard figured out Saul's behind all the horse shits. <sighs> Didn't even try to cover your right? tracks. So now you've ignited Howard into going into his own Saulness. This is true. Um, he got beat up <laughs> right before he has court in the morning. Uh, he did. You know, um, yeah. Oh, he's and he's taking all this on while he's got a brand new office of unsavory characters. That's not going to go fantastically well. You have to imagine. Well, it does go fantastic well. He ends up a very rich man. Well, I mean, right now though, a lot of shady characters in a new business and a. Crazy golf is looking space with Howard after you and Lala's will be after you eventually. Oh, yes. It's, it's, yeah. So that's cleaned up. It's a whole issue. I'm fine. I, you convinced me. I'll go with Saul because that's easy for me. Uh, MVP, I'm going to go with Lalo. Uh, even though Gus is appears to know something about what he's doing, he can't sh- do anything just yet. So the fact that Lalo's put the plan in motion, we found Werner's wife. We sweet talked her. We almost got in with her, quite frankly. If we had a couple more fucking dates, we'd been fucking in there. A little cave. Right, she a creep, and um, we found some evidence to lead us in the right direction. Uh, Silver, I'm gonna go with Howard uh, for piecing together that salt thing pretty fast. Then, wait a minute, wait. Time. So there's the bag of the country club. Then I was like, that was easy. Go ahead, Howard. You oh, want to get caught? What? You want to get caught? <laughs> um, I'm a little shocked that you put the Kim part together, though. I think he's always kind of uh, uh, underestimated Kim. Because I think most of you do, too. You included. Um, but I think it was the fact that he met with Kim that went, ah, Saul. Yeah, but again, he continues to put it off on Saul. Remember when he had the meeting with Kim last season? He probably don't, but whatever. Um, he's like, fucking, I, I, you quit your job. You did this. I, I, Jimmy's doing this to you. And Kim starts laughing. Like, I'm an, a grown-up. I can make my own decisions. We continue to treat her like she's an extension of Jimmy. She isn't. She's her own person. For now. And bronze? bronze. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Cliff because he's such a good guy. We can get you help. We can beat this. My son said this. <laughs> it all do a problem. Just not that one. Go ahead, Howard. Um, I agree. Lalo and Howard for exactly the reasons you said. Okay. Uh, gold and silver. Uh, and I loved Howard's combo. I was ready to give Howard the gold immediately. Quite frankly. 
but this uh, Lalo shit's probably gonna come into a stronger play, so get, you, you gotta edge him out there. I'm gonna go with the bronze for uh, Bearchin for shutting up just enough on his yipping and his yapping to not get himself murdered by Lalo in a house. You call him Bearchin? Isn't that what they call him, Bearchin? My little bear? Oh, is that the German for it? Yeah. Oh. Well, I think that's what she said. Um, little bear, sure. Yeah, little bear. Yes, he didn't get shot. Uh, though he almost did get his owner killed. But yeah, he didn't get either one killed. I feel like if he could have climbed stairs, would be a deep shit. Right. <laughs> uh, In fact, he's just kind of hinting, like, bitch, upstairs. Ooh, oh. Whoa. I was like, oh, I speak English, not German. <laughs> um, <laughs> plug? No, you don't do plugs. You just yeah. fucking say shit about things that are not yours. Essential um, comics. Post your comments, not comics, your comments. Down below. Don't be a comment. I might read it. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Watch them on Thursdays.